Good morning, everyone. No coffee on the porch this morning because by the time I woke up this morning, it was already hot outside. And so we're having coffee in the kitchen, okay? So we're gonna get in here and I'm gonna show you what I have planned for today. And I will definitely take you guys along with it, okay? So let me turn this around. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is process the celery and the peppers. I do not want those to go bad. And when you get food from the food bank, typically it's on its last leg or it's not the pretty pristine. And so it's important to get it preserved and put into a form that you'll be able to use. And so I love the fact that I got celery and peppers from the food bank this month. And so we're going to process those. Now, I'm also going to take the cilantro that I dried in my dehydrator and we're going to put that up in a jar and that way it's preserved in a shelf stable way that I can use later in recipes. Okay, so that will be put into a jar. All right, so let's get in here and let's take care of the peppers first. All right. So, oh, let me get. I thought I had everything set up. Okay. There we go. Everything. I'm putting the trash can right underneath the camera right here so that um, it's out of the way, but you know that I'm hitting a trash can down here. Okay. That's what I'm doing. And we're going to get the peppers tips off of them and deseeded. Okay. I love these peppers, by the way. I use a spoon to de-seed. So we were quite uh, busy yesterday. We did the watermelon and uh, what else did I do yesterday? Anyway, we got quite a bit done yesterday. I am going to these are so pretty I'm so excited about uh, using these up into different dishes uh, that one's already clean out oh. If I keep some of these seeds, if I can plant them, I think I'll keep some of these seeds. That would be a fun experiment. I think I'll do that.
you guys back in because I have finished up the peppers like I finished up um, deseeding them okay I washed them cut the tips tips off uh, the stem off of them and deseeded them okay for the most part now I'm working on the celery and what I'm doing is I have just a steady stream of water going here and I'm washing the celery up I took the ends off of them both ends and I'm looking at the stalks themselves and washing them up especially right in here now these uh, celery I I prefer this celery over the ones that I get from the store and the reason is because this celery is a young celery. How do I know? Well, the stalks are smaller and the ribs in them are not as, like, um, like I don't have to pull the ribs out of them, okay? Because they are, um, they're young. And so they're not as difficult to kind of chew and digest. I think these came from like a, a field or something, farmer's market or something, because they're younger and smaller than the typical ones that you get at the grocery store. Okay, I did not cut this off. This one I didn't cut off.
certainly glad you guys come along with me as I do this. All right, so now I have these leaves and I've picked certain leaves that I wanted to keep because what I'm gonna do with them is I'm going to dehydrate these and these will go into soups and stews in the winter time. They'll go in a jar in my pantry and I will use this as a seasoning for my soups and stews, okay? Not necessarily only in the winter time, but I'll put it on the shelf. If you didn't know, tender leaves from the celery are edible and they are wonderful as a seasoning in soups and stews. Yes, they are. So all of these leaves, the tender ones, I see a few here that are kind of rough, so I'm gonna take those off. But the tender ones, the ones in the center, will be turned into a, you can even, um, grind it up if you get it dehydrated. Y'all look at that. Y'all see that? I bruised myself yesterday. Um, once you get it dehydrated, put it into like a food processor or a chopper or something like that. And bam! You have a powder that you can then add into recipes and give a good um, fresh celery scent to it. Okay, so now everything is washed. That's what I wanted. I will bring you back when I start processing. I gotta let this stuff drain, okay? Hey everyone, it's 11.35 in the morning and I haven't had breakfast. So I am going to stop and take a break and do some breakfast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these peppers that I just processed okay. and probably two of them, so two, two of the red halves and two of the kind of yellow halves. And I use my chopper, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the skillet going. Okay, come on. There it goes. I'm gonna get this heating up. I'm going into my refrigerator behind the camera. And I have chorizo, so I'm gonna get my chorizo out. I have some low carb tortillas. I got some cheese, grated cheese. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the eggs out. I'm 
I'm taking a pause on the processing of the produce from the food bank to make myself a little something to eat. waiting this for this to kind of break up. I am going to get two eggs out. I did empty the dishwasher this morning. I did that on my own without you guys. Never tried Mexican chorizo, man. You guys should. The flavoring in this is so good. Alright, now I'm gonna add peppers in there. The peppers that I just chopped up. Might as well use them, right? Might as well use them for the dish today. And I'm gonna get onions, we got the peppers, we have the chorizo in there. I'm working on the eggs. Let me get the eggs done. I'm scrambled up with a little salt. And I'm going to get this going here. I want this heated up.
going to make some nice base for it, some tacos. Sure is. All right. The eggs are scrambled. They're ready to go. I'm going to take the egg carton and put it back in the fridge. Back in the fridge with the chorizo. I have to think enough for one more meal. A chorizo and uh, of tacos, breakfast tacos with chorizo. All right. So now we have all the veggies. Season up in there. As you start seeing it cook around, then you can bring it in. This is one method I've done this, okay? And that way the part that's not cooked fills into the gaps, okay? And just keep moving it around, keep it filling in. And there's two ways you can do this. You can put a lid on top of it, let the steam cook it, or you can do this. I cut it in half, like this. Tilt the pan this way and do a flip. I do the same thing on this side. Tilt the pan and do a flip. Anywhere that there is and it needs to be flipped. Okay. That's all. Well, this finished cooking. I'm going to get my plate out. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. I know this is busy, but that's all right. This is how I function in my house, okay? It's my house, I function this way, in my house, okay? We're gonna take the tortillas that are heated up, put them on the plate. I haven't yet finished up this um, dehydrator yet. Put those in the jars, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn that off, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put half of this chorizo on one tortilla and half on the other. 
And whatever doesn't fit, I'll eat with a fork, okay? Then, grated cheese that needs to get used up is mozzarella so that's what's going on top all right and this is it for this bag of mozzarella cheese all right there we go now my friends is what I'm gonna have for breakfast okay I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys in a little while all right, so we got breakfast over with, and most of the dishes are in the dishwasher. Um, so we're gonna continue with um, processing this uh, food. And so the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm just taking things, you know, one step at a time. Remember the peppers. So I am going to Take this, put it together, and we're going to take these and we're going to chop them up. Most of the time, almost always, I use peppers diced up, okay? And so, yeah, we're going to get in here and dice these up. No matter what the peppers are. Let's see if it does it. It did. All right. Because some of these I didn't cut in half. <laughs> Y'all come along. Uh, loosen all.
a reusable freezer bag. And we'll put them in the freezer. These will go into a salad. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay? Those will go into a salad that I have planned to make. The rest of these I'm going to put in the freezer to be used in later recipes. Okay? Later dishes. So I'm going to get these all sealed up. go in my freezer. I'm not going to label it because I know exactly what it is. I won't forget. And these are going to go into a, let me get this bag out of here. Look at that. Another task down. Y'all, I want to tell you guys what happened today. I got today's video all uploaded ready for you guys today it's a couple of days out okay I'm a couple of days out and I went and was watching it and realized that I the video that I had prepared was two of the same video put together <laughs> which made a very long video and so I had to Delete all the work I did. Go back and separate that video from itself. Double the video. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. All right, I'm going to pull this apart because, um, let me get the let me get the tool I need to clean this up, okay? From behind the scenes back here. So I'm getting ready to do the celery. And so I'm going to take clean out these um, these crevices so I can get ready to do the celery. See? There we go, that's cleaned out. I really don't need to wash it. I just need to get the, the red color out of there so the celery doesn't look red. Does that make sense? Yeah. So just kind of rinse them out. 
because all of these were washed up. Okay. together. Snap this back on there. Hold on a minute. Make sure it's put together correctly. There it goes. Snapped in. This is going in the refrigerator. This is going into the freezer. I'm setting this right here and it's ready for the celery, All right? And I'm going to take this, empty it out into the trash, and get this wiped out and ready for the celery, okay? All right, y'all hang on a minute. Let me get all this done. spray with antibacterial spray and non-toxic one too and then wipe everything out this and we'll rinse it back out. Y'all see what I do. Okay. Let me clean this back out again. All right, we'll come back and we'll do the celery next. 
going to get back in here and continue processing. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get in here and continue processing. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, freezer bag out for these, um, for the celery and because a lot of it is going to go into the freezer so it doesn't go bad. So I'm going to put, let me write, let me write on it. That's why I keep this marker right here. So this is the six month, 24, celery. to the side because we're going to use these in a different way. Remember, I only want the leaves in the dehydrator. That's what I'm going to do is pull the leaves off of those, okay? And then these small ones, I can go ahead and chop them up in here.
Let's bring you guys in and show you what I'm going to do with this. I have a little quart jar here that I'm going to go ahead and put these um, cilantro, dehydrated cilantro in. I'm making sure that they're completely dry. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is set these trays back up to To do the celery leaves. Okay. I'm going to take these off of this and set this over to the side here for just a minute. That way the leaves don't go down in the dehydrator itself. Then put this back on and move to the next tray. That was quite a bit of cilantro. I'm really glad that I received it from the food bank. This whole, this smells like cilantro here. All right, that goes there. And then we're gonna take these little pieces of cilantro that fell, and we're not gonna waste it. It's going to go in the jar as well. There we go. <clears throat> now 
Now we have a jar of cilantro. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this back over here, plug it back in, and we're gonna put the first tray down. And we're gonna bring over the celery leaves. And we're gonna do the same thing with the celery. This is gonna run a lot longer and the reason is because the stems on the celery are thicker. So it's gonna take longer for them to dehydrate. And that's it for those trays. And we'll get it turned on and get it going. And now we're going to have some celery leaves dehydrated. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming along with me in my kitchen today. Today was a um, processing day for. Uh, from food bank food that needed to get preserved before it went bad and so we processed two items out of that food bank haul the, the celery and the peppers and I really wanted to get the celery and the peppers processed because I use those things in a variety of things throughout the year and so when I get those in bulk like that I like to process them and put them um, in a in a freezer capacity so that I can just pull it out and add it to a, a variety of different recipes um, it is very similar to buying um, frozen peppers in the grocery store or frozen onions or your seasoning blend. Um, I separated out, you know, seasoning blend is really onions, peppers, and celery, and that kind of stuff, okay? And I separated out because I want to be able to put those individual ingredients into recipes along the way. And so I'm really grateful that I got those things and I could take them and process them and put them in my freezer. And that's why it's so important for me to go and rotate through the things that are in my freezer, the older things, so that I can make room for the newer things that are coming through. And so you see me using the chopped onions that I had in the freezer um, previously, the bell peppers that I had from, it was actually from last summer, I think, I'll have to look. and. I'm using those up to make room for the newer things that are coming in. And I try to rotate out that stuff, okay? I'm also using up the meats that I already prepared back in November and December um, when I was baking chicken and baking the turkey and getting all of that um, baked during the winter heating up my house and getting baking done at the same time and then stockpiling for the summer so I wouldn't have to heat up the house with the um, baking of the meats, the proteins. And so now I'm taking advantage of that 
and using them in recipes or making chicken salad or you know I could just toss them in on um, on a um, like a slow cooker and make a soup or something like that that doesn't heat up the house and so anyway so I'm really glad that you guys came along I'm going to be leaving playlists for you and a subscribe button if you enjoy my videos <laughs> and you haven't already subscribed I encourage that you do so because that one little button push um, makes a huge difference in my life and you guys um, bless me each and every day you do and I appreciate everything that you guys are doing for me just simply watching my videos is making a huge difference and I appreciate that more than you know so you guys be blessed go to these playlists watch older videos that I have see what kind of person I am and um, and make comments give me thumbs up and you know you know that you know you know and um, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>